Got a new weapon for you this week, one I have never demonstrated here before. In fact, I didn't even realize I had any left, but I was cleaning a stock room and there it was. A Kung Fu fan. This is one of those fun weapons that can be very practical, you can show off with it a little bit. If you go to competitions, you can work it into a creative form and it's super simple. When it's closed, you leave a little bit at the end so you can gouge with it. This part slices or strikes like you would with a collie stick or a Korean short stick. Of course, you can jab with it, you can hit somebody on the head with it, but it's when you open it with that little pop that gets somebody's attention, then you use it to protect your arm when you're blocking. And then in the movies, some of them had little knives. I've never seen one in person, but you can add a little slicing motion and it's very dynamic because it adds an extra dimension to your body and it's unusual. Most people have never seen it used as a weapon unless they watched a lot of Kung Fu movies like I did. And of course the best part, you can cool yourself down. If you have one, I wanna show you real quick how to open it and make that little pop and how to close it. You're gonna take that first finger and your thumb and it's gonna go on the first and second spine now you could go to the first spine, but I feel like you have a lot more control here. From here, to practice, you start by just opening your hand, get your fingers out of the way, and it opens all the way completely. Now to close it, you turn your hand, palm up, and it snaps back in. Open, close. This is just how you warm up. Open, close, open, close. Now the pop comes from two things. The first thing is that little snap in the wrist, and little means little. The smaller the motion and the quicker it is, the louder the pop. And the second part you can see, because my hand is changing color, is that I'm squeezing. I'm squeezing my fingers into the palm. It's coming to an abrupt stop that makes that snapping noise. So practice, this is opening, closing, opening, closing. Start to add a little pop a little flick of the wrist. Start to go a little quicker, and then add the squeeze. Bring it to a complete stop. If you have one of these already, now you know how to use it. If you didn't already, if not, and you see one in a magazine or online and you wanna order one, they're so super simple. One last thing. I make up a lot of my own forms. And I firmly believe that that's gonna help you understand your martial arts training a lot better. Notice I didn't say everything. I'm not making all of it up. I learn what other people taught me first, and then I come up with my own. I still practice both. You can practice both too. This is one of those weapons. You can go learn the Wu-Dang style, you can learn the Chin style, and that's great. After you've learned those basic styles, start to mess with it a little bit and make up your own. Your understanding and your ability will grow. I'll see you on the next video.